separate. Read on. For I, the most high, am holy. For I, the most high, is separate. You so get down smart. You ain't got nothing to say now. What the hell is going on? What you say with me? Talking about heat from the south, you talk to cheap like a Roman noodle. All you talk about is what about the white man? I think you like a Roman noodle. How you pro black but love some white girls? Don't you know what they did to us? They gave us hers, made you hate yourself, made you pro abortion, made you feminist. Nah, 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 boo boo. Don't let these people fool you. Called out their bamboozle. Don't you know that you Hebrew? Prong out Sharala. Prong out. Praise to the most high. What did he say? I can't see his face. What is his name? Yeah, Brother Jones, right? Go Brother Jones? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, see, Brother Jones, that's good that you have another one, but you know what? The other one, you should have used it. I should have saw you at that service today. I should have searched you at that school. Huh? You said what? You're going to pay my rent? I pay your rent? Yeah. I do more than that. No, 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 no. See, look, he thinks it's a joke. Right huh? I want right we'll do more than that. But guess what? You have to come to our school first. I mean, well, I can't just hand, I can just hand over something to you, what and then guess know? what? You take my money and then run away. I don't that, know. That's, I'm just saying. I, I'm just saying though. That, that, that would, that would show me. You know what that I would show me? Like that. Wait, hold on. I'm just saying though. That would show me that my statement was true. Black and black and Hispanics hate each other, right? It depends on people. Huh? It depends on the person. It depends on people. Yeah. Okay, for example, when we, were, when we were in slavery, they didn't try to divide us by light skin and dark skins. They do that now. Wait, hold on. They do it now, right? Yeah. So guess what? Are there light skinned people who look at dark skinned people as ugly? Yeah. Are there dark skinned people who look at light skinned people like they're so called white people? Yeah. So then the black and Hispanics do hate each other. We do hate each other. Yeah. And the reason why we hate each other is because. As the Most High God has given us the commandments, the commandments were given to us so we can be joined together. When we stop keeping them, guess what? We allow the so-called white men and any exterior motive of any nation to divide and conquer us. That's the reason why they were able to come in and say, hey, he's light-skinned, let's put him in the house. He's dark-skinned, put him on the field. Now they're looking at each other like they ain't the same people anymore. Or am I just making that up? It's true, but ah, you see? No, it's true, but ah, you listen, see? No, no, listen, right, <laughs> go listen, ahead, go ahead. I'm listening. Listen. What we gotta do as what? people first is we gotta take care of us first. Okay, give him a hand. We gotta take care of us first, and not just, not just, not just. Brother Jones, you know, not just support, support black businesses. Why is this everybody has got businesses and we ain't got none? We gotta okay. start to think different. Here. We gotta start to think different, move different, act different as a people. Then the Hispanic and the white and the Greek and all of us go look at us oh we are a unit now you understand they gotta come to all of us for us to get in there in any other race we gotta go through a group of them not just one we gotta go through a, a force we gotta go to the whole family you understand me mm -hmm. if you if you meet a girl if you meet a girl from no, any other race give me example, but no, I don't no, understand no. what you're saying you, go, you meet a girl from <coughs> any other race uh -huh. you gotta know her, her all her family before y'all get married Another race, meet a, meet a black a, a black sister. You don't meet you don't even meet her, her dad. Some of us, you don't even meet her dad. Feel much less her mom. And they, you know what? You know what's the fucked up part? The mom and the dad live in the same village. You know what I mean? So, so we are messed up as a community. If Here, brother, I'm gonna say this. If that don't fix, we can go. I, 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 those are three different separate things, but I'm gonna deal with the first thing first. You said we need to start supporting each other and supporting black businesses, businesses, right? We need to do that, right? Mm -hmm. And I agree. That's why I have the brothers clap. Because we believe in that. But the first four, first thing that begins is what? Zephaniah chapter 2 verse 1. This is the okay. first thing. This is the first step. Because if it's not built on the most high, guess what? It's made to crumble. This is the reason why we have the Black Panther Party. They were all about black, they were all about black businesses, right? They were about arming so-called black people to arm them against the police officers. They were all about that. But guess what? It was not built on the Most High God. Because a lot of times, we see this book, we see this Bible, and we think, that's the white man's book. Because you know why? We see it in the white man's church. But you need to separate that thought from each other. When we go into the church, they do not practice this book. And when we go into that church, they close this book, and then they har, har, talk out their mouth. 
That's the reason why a lot of people go to church, try to find God. Maybe you have some tattoos, but you're trying to find God. And guess what? They'll tell you, come as you are, and then they're talking about you behind your back. Like hypocrites. Right? This is the reason why, if it's not built on the Lord, it's going to crumble. This is the reason why I'm trying to separate from Christianity from this Bible. We're not Christians. Come! 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 We're not Christians up here. We're Israelites. That's what we are. Read Zephaniah chapter 2 verse 1. Zephaniah chapter 2 verse 1. Uh -huh. Gather yourselves together. What did Lord say? Gather, Gather yourselves together. together. That's exactly what you said. But we, the first thing before we start supporting each other's businesses, we need to gather together. Read on. Yea, gather together, O nation, not desire. Read it one more time. Yea, gather together, O nation, not desire. O nation, not desire. It says, gather yourselves together, which means what? The light skin of our people? The dark skin of our people? What? The Hispanics of our people? Because there ain't no difference between us and our Hispanic brothers. We both live in the hoods. We both work in three or four jobs. And we both got in this condition because of the damn Caucasian persuasion. That's right. the reason why we got here. So us as so-called black and Hispanics, we need to get together. Right. And the reason why we separated is because one, we broke the commandments, and two, we allowed the so-called white men to separate us. Right. Read on. What does it say? Yay? Yay. Gather together, O nation, not desire. It doesn't matter whether you're a Yadi, whether you're Jamaican, whether you're Haitian, whether you're Zo, whether you're Hispanic, whether it doesn't matter. All of us, nobody wants to be us. Nobody. They want what we have. We're the smartest people in this world. The fastest man in alive is a Jamaican man. The strong, the best basketball player is an African American. The, the most handsome men is Haitians. That's right. right. <laughs> That's right. So every they want what we have, but guess what? No, he's not smoking. But <laughs> but we have what they want what we have because hold that. Give me Matthew five and thirteen. They want what we have, but guess what? They don't want to be in our condition. They want to have to. They don't want to live in hoods, and have hoods that have drug dealers in their neighborhoods and prostitution. We see that all the time. We teach sisters that are prostitutes. We get sisters to stop being prostitutes. I personally taught brothers to stop smoking, to stop smoking weed and doing drugs, and stop doing that and selling it to your people, right? So we deal with this day and day and night, day and week, week after week. We have to deal with this. We we on Matthew chapter five verse thirteen. Uh huh. Ye are the salt of the earth. What did I say? Ye are the salt of the earth. When you're making food, the key component of making good food, you gotta put salt, right? No matter what food it is, you put salt, it has flavor, right? That's what the Lord is calling us. It don't matter what is in what what's in this earth. If we get involved, we'll add flavor into whatever it is. Whether it's sports, whether it's basketball, whether it's football, how many so-called, how many people are gonna pay to watch some white boys dribble the ball around in the court? That's not what it's gonna happen. But they'll pay hundreds and thousands of dollars to watch Michael Jordan fly to the hoop and slam that thing into the hoop. He'll, they'll watch that because you know why? Because he's in this one life. That's why. Because we're the soul of this earth. Read on. But if the salt have lost his, his favor, but, savor. So go, be, go back to Lamentation. So we're the salt of this earth. No, not Lamentation. Zephaniah chapter 2. So we're the salt of this earth. So everyone wants what we have, but they don't want to be in our condition. This is the reason why, as a broken nation of people, we need to gather together and fix ourselves. This is the reason why we had to come out here. How many times you come out here? And you know, you have your own testimony. You have your own experiences in life. So I want you to tell me the truth. How many times you go out in the streets you see Christ good old Christians teaching the Bible? Oh, yeah, I never see Christians over here. No, you never see Christians. But guess what? They say they love God. They say they want to spread the gospel. They say that they want to spread Jesus Christ all over the world. But guess what? Real service of God, they're going to be on these streets. That's well, you know what's on these streets? Drug dealers on these streets. You know what's on these streets? Prostitutions on these streets. You know what's on these streets? People with guns are on these streets. And guess what? We're not moving. That's right. We're staying up here. You know why? Because we will die for so-called black people. We'll give our lives for so-called black people because the Lord gave, our, gave the life of his son for us. That's, right. That's the reason why we exchange our lives for them. Read on. Gather yourselves together. Uh-huh. Yeah, gather together, O nation, not desire. O nation, not desire. Come on. 
Before the decree bring forth. Before what? Before the decree bring forth. And that's the reason why we have to come out here every week. Every, almost every day, we have to come out in these streets. You know why? Because guess what? We have to do this because this is the decree that's coming before us. There's something that's coming to America. You understand? What's coming to America? Give me Zephaniah chapter 1 verse 14 and 15. Zephaniah chapter 1 verse 14. Uh huh. The great day of the Lord. What does it say? The great day of the Lord is near. What's coming? The great day of the Lord is near. Ah, you see, brother? The great day of the Lord. So when Christ is coming in the church, what did it say it's supposed to be like? When Christ come, when you was in the church, what did it say it's supposed to be like? What, the earth? Yeah. When Christ come. They told me. Christ is going to come skipping on the sky with flowers. He's going to pass it on. You're gonna, I'm going to see my grandmama again. I'm going to see my grandpappy again. Christ is going to be coming. It's going to be kumbaya, rainbows forever in the sky. But that's no, not true. That's not true. That's not true. Read on. The great day of the Lord is coming. Read on. The great day of the Lord is near. It huh? is near. What is it? It is near. What happened? It is near. It is near. Read on. And hasteth greatly. And it hasteth greatly. The great day of the Lord is coming. What's coming here to America? This place that have shed our blood and killed our people for absolutely nothing. They run into your apartment, your house. You think your children are safe right now. They're not. They will run into your house and shoot your children. And as you're sitting in that case, and you're sitting in that damn room, guess what? Waiting for that white man to get his judgment, he won't get it. He won't go to prison. But guess what? Your child's going to be in the ground. That's what's going to happen. But because of that, the Lord is going to destroy America. The Lord is going to destroy this place. Uh, this is why we have to come out here and make sure we gather so-called black and Hispanics together. That we right. help each other. That we love each other. We worry about each other first. We put ourselves first. This is the reason why we come out here. And brother, if this is really touching you, guess what? You got to use our flyer this time. You have to use our flyer this time. Because guess what? This type of love, you ain't gonna find it in no Christian church. For each and one of these brothers up here, I'll give my life for each one of these brothers, and I'll take a life for each one of these brothers. You know why? Because you won't find that in the Christian church. You know what you're gonna find in the Christian church? Vain love. Vain help. You're gonna find imagined nations. You're gonna find your pocket with less money. That's what you're gonna find in the Christian church. But here, you're gonna find brotherhood. Read on. It ha and hasted greatly. Uh huh. Even the voice of the day of the Lord. Uh huh. The mighty man shall cry there bitterly. What's gonna happen? The mighty man shall cry there bitterly. And these hard boys, I think they're hard because they got a little stick and little gun. Guess what? But when a white man kills one of our people, where the hell were you? When did you use it? You didn't use it. You know why? Because guess what? Real one more time, the strong man's gonna do what? The mighty man shall cry there bitterly. And he's gonna cry in the day of the Lord, man. When Christ comes, these guys gonna cry. These guys will be playing like they tough, like they hard, like they bad man, like they rude boys. Guess what? These done got us. These boys going to be crying when Christ comes. You know why? Because when Christ comes, he's going to destroy two-thirds of our people. Two-thirds of the so-called black and Hispanics. You know why? Because two-thirds of our people will never repent. Two-thirds of our people will never care about God. Two-thirds of our people, their love for God is total BS. But you know what? Because you're still standing up here, you're showing us that you love the most high God. You have it within you to keep the commandments. This is the reason why I have to speak to you this way, because I know you can do it. I know you can do it. Give me, give me the Philippians chapter 4. Philippians chapter 4 verse 16. I know it's within you to keep the commandments of the Lord. Hey, clap up for the brother staying up here for so long, man. Clap up for this brother, man. Give me Philippians. Philippians chapter 4 verse 16, man. I know you can keep the commandments of God. It's not that hard to stop, smoke, stop smoking weed, stop smoking black, stop eating pork. You know why I know it's not that hard? Because each one of us was doing it up here. Each one of us was already doing it. Some of us was doing it worse than others. But you know what? They fought it, and guess what? You know what helped them fight it? When they surround themselves with brotherhood. And you don't find that in the Christian church. Read on. I could do all things through Christ which strengthened me. What did it say? I could do all things through Christ which strengthens me. One more time. I could do all things through Christ which strengthens me. I can, I can do all things through Christ that strengthens us.